This morning, horror stories from a music festival in the Israeli desert, where at least 260 people were killed Saturday by Hamas fighters in a surprise attack. Now, when I googled hostage, I found this article. I guess I should say articles. Here, there's one that says, at least 700 Israelis killed. So, I guess the video is a little old. At least 2,000 wounded, over 130 civilians and soldiers held captive, I guess. Uh, dozens of civilians being, yeah, held captive by Hamas, Israeli military, I guess they say. Uh, hostage crisis grips Israel after Hamas attack. Trudeau calls for release of hostages. Yeah, sure, Justin. Just because you asked for their release, they're going to release them for you. Just for you. Reports of Canadians killed. They're only babies. Israeli relatives of hostage plead for help. The Hamas? They don't care if they're only babies. Hell, the Hamas? They sacrifice their own children. Israel-Hamas war. Grandmother taken by militants has no medicine. Uh, you have my sympathies, but the Hamas don't care. And the sad thing to me, like what was it, four or two years ago, they were at war with each other. Here's an article about it. May 2021, the Israeli police raid a mosque in Jerusalem, the third holiest site, which set off an 11-day war between Israel and Hamas that killed then 200 Palestinians and more than 10 Israelis. So they signed a ceasefire at some point, and this is my thought I had two years ago. The only reason Hamas wanted to stop? They ran out of rockets and missiles. So what did they do? They spent the next two years rearming. And also, I'm pretty sure Israel couldn't uh, push the advantage because of the PR. You had so many people crying rivers of tears for Palestine. Case in point, Jews for Palestine. Um, okay. I wonder if this woman's aware of the fact that uh, Palestinians don't, or Hamas or whichever don't actually like Jews. And then note the little boycott Israel apartheid. So it's okay if, you know, Palestine or Israel has apartheid, but heaven forbid white people have apartheid. The only thing more asinine than Jews for Palestine would be queers for Palestine. But hey, here we go. Queers against Israel, apartheid. Oh, there's apartheid again. Queers for Palestine. Queers for Palestine. So it's alright if they use the word queer, but I can't. Okay. So again, I could be wrong, but do they even have queers in Palestine? Or the Gaza Strip? I don't think they do. I think it has something to do with a rooftop. So yeah, I guess that's why the Israeli government didn't want to push into the Gaza Strip. Because of the PR. They didn't want to lose the U.S. backing, i.e. money and military hardware, missiles. How about now? How's the PR? Well, 700 people murdered, 2,000 wounded, and dozens of hostages. Now, here's my opinion. Israel has an intelligence agency, right? How could they not know that this was going down? This was a well-coordinated attack. How did they not see it coming? And to add to it, these hostages, some of them are U.S. citizens. Some are Canadian citizens. Hell, I think there was one woman who was German. So now all these nations are going to want to get their uh, citizens back. And the Hamas, they were probably jumping for joy at how successful their raid was. And how many uh, Israelis they yeeted. Because that's one of the things they like doing. Yeeting Israels. And then they would take the hostages and sprinkle them around the Gaza Strip. To prevent uh, bombings. The thing is, they basically have the whole world against them now. I guess I should rephrase that. The US. So I don't think they calculated that into their um, equation. As for me... What side do I pick? None. Two reasons. One, the Israeli government, like every government, I don't trust them. 
I feel bad for the civilians that died, and the hostages, and the people who are wounded, but at the same time, I can't shake the feeling of how did the Israeli intelligence agency miss such a huge raid attack on Israel? Now as for Hamas, or Palestine, or whatever it's called, the reason I don't support them is simple. To them, I'm an infidel. If they had the chance, they would eat me. So, these are my thoughts on the matter. My opinions. Well, take care out there in this asinine clown world.